いただきます。No a s h a t o d a y water. Water is good, but a s h a t o is better. Hi, welcome to another one, beautiful people. So, today's video is something extremely different. In front of me is what we call African Star Apple. This is our own version of African Apple. It is popularly called a b o l e m o That is for the Yorubas. A b o l e m o I don't know if that is correct. But for the Almighty Igbo, we call it Odara. So, and I hope you enjoyed this video. It actually has a botanical name.、Uh, I don't want to call it, I think it's like Shumprumpo Embe Am O Matabiqui Rebicon. Please, just the names I have listed. That is the name. Go and search on Google and find out. Let's dive in quickly, guys. Have you tried it before? Let's see. It has some seed inside. A s h a r So, this is how the seed looks like black seed. So, if you want it to grow again, all you have to do is to put this one on the soil, add some manure, and it will grow again. Very popular in Africa. In Igbo, we call it Umburo Dara. It means seed of African ap star apple fruit. <laughs> That's the meaning. So, when I was a kid, the way I lick this, I don't really have time to start removing the seed. So, I. Okay, I will show you later. Oh, she are. So, this one goes away. So, some of it actually tastes very sweet. Like the previous one that I just finished eating was really very sweet. So, some also taste very sore. You know, when you lick it, it will be like as if somebody is slapping you. Let me try to find one that will be very sore, that we have sore test. I think this one we have sore test. Let's try this one out.
うんうんファニソうん。It's a little bit bitter or something. You know that feeling after eating pineapple and you drink water. That is exactly how it tastes too. Let me try this one. So, when I was a kid, we have a special way of eating it. I'm going to use this one to introduce it to you. When I was a kid, I don't remove the flesh on the seed. I swallow it all. So I'm going to do it with this one. I swallowed it. <laughs> it reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> Then after that, the next thing I do when I was a kid is to tear it into part. And I will use the back to do、uh, convert it to chewing gum. Let's do it. It depends. We can eat it for long, and as time goes on, you eat it, you find out that it becomes so gummy, becomes like chewing gum in real life. But you know, Bisan loves to swallow everything. <laughs> yes, very fresh. And sometimes when removing.、Uh, The when trying to you know eat it, there are some incense that is in the fruit, so that is it why it is best for you to try of try to eat it this way to avoid meeting the incense, you know, which is the best incense, small, small type of incense. Are usually here. Here. But these ones are free from incense.
so they say that this fruit have a lot of uh, health benefit it is good for pregnant women it has low sugar they also say that uh, it gives vitamin C and so many things that this fruit helps so it's really a very good uh, fruit with a lot of health benefits over here in Nigeria I don't know if this fruit is also found in other parts of West Africa or other African country please if you are from Africa and you are watching me and you have this fruit please also let me know in the comment section mm. That one was very bitter. Let me try to look for the one they called one nu. I think I found one nu. This one seems to be like one nu. One nu actually means the sweetest part of it. You know, so let's see with my eyes, with my village eyes, I can detect one nu from very far. Oh. I failed. <laughs> this one is one bitter. Mm. Mm. Oh. Looks fresh. Mm. You know, I swallow a lot of seed from this fruit when I was very young. And when I go to the toilet, I always find my sheet <laughs> having seed of this fruit. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of my childhood, really. <laughs> I know many Nigerians watching me also had that experience when they were young, you know. <laughs> I'll show y'all. And I understand one thing about this fruit. No matter how uh, sour the fruit tastes, the seed always takes very sweet yes so if the flesh like the one inside is also uh, taste sweet then the seed tastes sweet that is the best but always expect the seed to always taste sweet so that's one thing i find out about this fruit Let me look for something. Yeah, this one seems to be nice. See? Hmm. Bad.
So those days, when I was in Nigeria, growing up as a child, uh, we have a neighbor that had uh, this type of fruit. His name was uh, Nadie Bunam. So we always go early in the morning to pick this. He doesn't allow us to stone it or pluck it. He allows the fruit to fall naturally and you can pick it. So usually when this fruit falls down, you pick it. When we have, there is, you can see this dot very close on this one. So we uh, believe that uh, the kite have blessed this one because usually it is this fruit fall down due to activities of the bird pushing on the tree, like cart, uh, uh, kite, uh, the one we call a boy, I don't know, kite, birds, this kind of bird. So we believe that this type is blessing, you know, and it becomes sweetest because the bird have urinated or defecated on it therefore making it to taste very very sweet so let's see if our belief was actually right on this one you can see it there are some dots very different from this one you see this one is plain now this one have some dots let's try it out Our belief was wrong. <laughs> the bed doesn't make it any sweeter. It's all the same. I hope you guys are not expecting me to finish licking all these um, African apple star fruit. I cannot finish it. You know, it's not food. It's just fruits. So I just want to eat it and show you guys how it looks like, what it tastes like, you know. Let me take one more. Probably the last one. <laughs> and I record a video of. Oh, this one is very fresh. The last, but not the least.
slapping my cheek. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, I think at this point, I will call it a day. God, Jesus, I'm a day star. So what do you think about this fruit? Have you ever eaten it before? Is it your favorite? Have you even ever seen this fruit before? Let me know in the comment section. I don't know if this fruit grows in America, Europe, or even Japan because I have not seen it in Japan before. I think it's African thing, you know. So Europeans, you guys have apple. This is what our own African apple looks like. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Let me know what you think about this fruit. And have a very beautiful and wonderful day. Bye-bye.